I have daydreams about black history. I see myself playing double dutch with manuscripts from 14th century Timbuktu. I am dancing to djembes at midnight, reading messages the stars have left for me. I daydream of shaking off the colonial impact until manifestation, of black history being fun, not only suffering, being everyday people, not only monarchy. I'll blow crystal sound to show the names of the ones that came before me and to see if I am my ancestors' wildest dream. I daydream of resting and astral projecting in the Timbuktu libraries, picking up knowledge throughout my travels. I'm careful not to be too loud when I play hopscotch with the bibliographies, clutch the intelligence of Malian academics, kiss the hard work it took to complete documents. I wanted to be an archeologist. Oh, how I wish my high school's history curriculum were dipped in melanin. It was too pale for my liking. I now grin with wisdom, knowing how scarily West Africa was. I daydream of the colonized mind going extinct, for offerings to ancestors to be normalized and not deemed demonic. And I daydream of having some peppermint tea with Mansa Musa, to learn how to be more generous, learn how to prevent wealth from becoming like a plant dying from thirst. I daydream of sitting on the lap of a black matriarchy, and I'll cry in our arms and still be considered a real man. Black history, is a pavement for my ancestors to walk on. And I want it to be easy to access like memories in the back of my mind. I want it to drop in the middle of a conversation and not be random. I want to guide my descendants so time doesn't repeat itself. I want to leave a handprint on black history like Marcus Garvey. Be quick to find in archives before death takes my hand. I daydream of black history being a mother tongue and how different I would have turned out if I knew my ancestors were scholars before they were enslaved.